Hi everybody, I'm Cleo from East End Children's Center and I'm very excited to read Nibby's Water Song with you all today. This is our dear friend, Nibby. And Nibby's pet. What animal is Nibby's pet? You got it, a doggy. So this book is called Nibby's Water Song. Nibby is indigenous. That means Nibby's ancestors, Nibby's family from long, long ago, her grandparents and great-grandparents and great-great-great-parents, thousands of years back, all lived on this land on Turtle Island. Today, where she's from is known as Quebec. She's Anishinaabe. She's from the Anishinaabe tribe of indigenous people. And a lot of times indigenous people live on reservations, reses, on pieces of land that are just for them. Reses. And on this res, Nibby does not have a lot of clean drinking water. When Nibby turns on the tap, sometimes she can't drink the water that comes in because it's not clean enough. Can you imagine? If that was your situation, maybe it is your situation. That's not very fair, is it? That's not very good for you to drink dirty water. You should have clean water all the time, especially living in a country like Canada, living on Turtle Island where we have so much water around us. So this book is about Nibby's quest for clean water where she's living. The author is Sunshine Tenasco. She is Anishinaabe. And the artist is Chief Ladybird, who is Chippewa and Potawatomi from Rama Reserve, Rama First Nation Reserve near Barrie. Nibby's Water Song. Okay, let's get to reading. Nibby's Water Song. What do you think these are? I think they're dolphins. Beautiful flowers. Slurp. Nibby was a thirsty, thirsty girl. So thirsty, her mouth was clucking. I am thirsty, thirsty Nibby, and I need water. Nibby's gonna run over to the top and have some water. Oh, I wonder what yummy food is in this bowl. What do you think it is? I'm so curious. Nibby ran to her sink and tried to get some water. Oh no, there was still no clean water. Hmm, what should Nibby do? She ran to her neighbor's house. Nope, just brown water there too. Blech, that is yucky, isn't it? This isn't clean water. You should not drink it, it's dirty. And dirty water can make you very, very sick. No problem. Thirsty, thirsty Nibby skipped down the road to the river. Skip, 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 skip. Kigons, the fish, jumped up and told Nibby, you can't drink this dirty water. Blech. This water was too sicky too. Even the river water is dirty. The water from the tap is dirty. The river water is dirty. And we all need water to live. So where is Nibby supposed to get her water from? Mm. 
No problem. Nibby skipped to the next town with the big shiny houses. She knocked on the biggest shiniest door she could find and said, I am thirsty, thirsty Nibby, and I need water. Do you have water? May I please have some? The nice lady who lived in the big house with the green roof gave her a teeny tiny plastic bottle of water and then shooed her away. Nibby was so thirsty, she drank the bottle of water in one gulp. Burp. Her water was all gone again. See how the plants can grow out of this water? Because it's nice and clean. No problem. Thirsty, thirsty Nitty went back to the house with the green roof and knocked and knocked and knocked and knocked some more. Nobody opened the door this time. No problem. Thirsty, thirsty Nibby kept knocking on every single door in the town with all the big shiny houses. Knock, knock, knock. Do you want to knock with me? Find something to knock on. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Help Nibby knock. Knock, knock, knock. I need some water, please. But no one came out. Nibby made a sign. She danced and sang down every street with her giant sign. I am thirsty, thirsty Nibby, and I need water. Nibby's sign says, water is life. Because all living things need water to to be, to live, to be happy. She needs water. Can you imagine being super, super duper extra thirsty or hungry and not having any water to drink or to make your food? That's not very kind, that's not very fair. She should have as much water as she needs in her home. The little dog sign says, woof. Nibby looked under rocks. Nibby looked in swamps. Nibby looked in houses. Nibby asked all of her friends. They had no water to share with her either. Nibby calls out, Where's the clean water? But then, all of Nibby's friends started singing and dancing with her. She is thirsty, thirsty Nibby, and she needs water. All her friends helping her. They need water too. It says, water is life. Her sign says, I am thirsty. Clean water. There's a big sign that says clean water. They were so loud that the people in the big shiny houses came out. They listened and soon they were all singing to Nibby's tune. She is thirsty, thirsty Nibby and she needs water. 
and they all have different signs. His sign says, water is life. And the other sign says, we all need water. And the dog silly sign only says, woof. The more they sang together, the louder they got. Then the whole town with the big shiny houses started to sing. She is thirsty, thirsty, Nibby, and we want to help her have water. Everyone comes together to try and help Nibby get water. All the townsfolk are singing with her. There's Nibby so excited to sing her song with her beautiful braids and her happy doggo is singing too. With a lot of hard work, digging and singing, everyone worked together. And finally, Thirsty Thirsty Nibby got her clean water and she shared with all her friends. Then she was happy, happy Nibby. She worked together. She told all the townspeople about this very serious problem that she was having, that she didn't have any clean water. And eventually they started listening to her. More and more people understood what a big deal it was. They all got together and they said, what you're talking about is really important. We support you. We are in solidarity with you. We will campaign, we will help you get clean water in your home. And the best part is that when Nibby finally got her clean water, she shared it with all of her friends. She didn't keep it all for herself. She shared it with all of her friends, like her dog and her frog and her people friends too. There's her clean glass of water, finally. Let's talk about clean water. We live in Canada, a place where people are known to be kind to each other, where people are fair or seen as fair and welcoming, but this same place still doesn't treat people equally for some things, things like having clean water. Why do only some people in Canada get free water? How come indigenous people are struggling to get free water? If you've been running around like Nibby and you get thirsty, can you go to your sink and get a glass of water? Well, there are many indigenous communities in Canada that don't have clean water. And that means people, maybe even families that live near you have brown bath water that causes rashes and drinking water that could make them sick. Remember the drinking water from before? Yeah, this is water that is definitely going to make someone sick. It is not clean. Sometimes the water is so bad that they have to boil it before they can use it for anything. This needs to change you can be part of that change. So if you think everyone should have clean tap water, you should talk to grown-ups about it. You should tell your friends, tell your family, tell your teachers, just like Nibby told everyone. You can say, I think it really matters that everyone should have clean drinking water. What can we do? What can we do? You can talk to your adults about what you can do you can look in the description box of this video to see what you can do. All right, that's the end of our story. Nibby's thirsty, thirsty, oh, Nibby's water song. There we go, Nibby's water song. I hope you enjoyed learning about Nibby and the water, the clean water that she's hoping she can find and why she doesn't have clean water and why it's important that she does and should have clean water. If you want to learn more about Indigenous people, um, the culture, 
and what it means to be indigenous in Canada, you can look through some of the videos in our Recognizing Indigeneity playlist, and I hope you enjoy learning more. I'll put the link for that playlist at the bottom of this video in the description. If you just go down and you hit show more, you'll see it. Okay, bye-bye everyone.